Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this video we'll be going ahead and doing something a little different. And we're going to be going to take a look at the top 15 worst builds for ground vehicles currently on the, the current tutorial world update version. Now these vehicles are all absolutely horrible, at least to uh, my standards now. And I think it's a good way to kind of show growth. Um, I really think that every builder needs to constantly keep growing in terms of their skill and trying to basically be the best builder they could possibly be. And I think these vehicles really show the leap that I took from when these vehicles were built, maybe some of them, you know, two, three years ago, um, compared to the vehicles I put out now. And some of these vehicles, we actually have new ones currently built next to them. Uh, I just kept them around here because I wanted to show you guys. Uh, but I did do a video a while back that was my top five worst World War II builds. And I think that it's kind of fun to come back here and revisit these, uh, revisit the kind of concept and take a look at some of these really old, terrible builds that uh, some are there's tutorials for that really need to be redone. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, move into our builds. Now, these builds are not in any particular order, uh, they're just the top 15 ones that I think are just absolutely horrendous on this world and <laughs> definitely need to be updated. Uh, but let's go and dive into our first one. Alright, guys, moving into our first vehicle, we have the Saint Shaman. Now, the Saint Shaman was a uh, tank of World War One that I did a tutorial on probably back in 2017. Now the newer version, as you can see here next to it, is obviously a lot better in terms of detail, overall, you know, appearance, and you can see just the gap between what I was building to where I'm at now, level-wise. This here is the old one that was posted, and there is a tutorial currently up on the channel for this design. Um, as you can see, it's just absolutely <laughs> horrendous. It's uh, very minimalistic in detail. Uh, the overall kind of, I guess, look of it is pretty bland and pretty boring. Um, one thing I also dislike about it is that it is uh, two blocks too wide. It should be five blocks wide. And uh, definitely kind of a, a mess up on that. Uh, just very underwhelming, as I mentioned, just in detail in terms of appearance. And just overall is not a very nice build. Um, I definitely think this new redesign is a huge improvement, and I do hope to get that out for you guys soon to uh, replace this old uh, heap of garbage here uh, behind us. Uh, but anyways, that's it for the first vehicle. That's the Saint Shaman. Let's go ahead and move into our next vehicle. Our next vehicle is the Snyder CA-1. Now, the Snyder CA-1 was, again, another World War I tank um, in our French lineup, and there never was a tutorial posted for this uh, vehicle, if I remember correctly. I believe this was built in a stream, and if I remember correctly, it was in December of uh, 2016, I think. So, a long, long time ago. And this build just is absolutely horrendous. First off, I think the Snyder CA-1 is a really terrible looking tank to begin with. And the basically the lack of skill level I had when I built this definitely kind of shows... Um, also, as well as this thing just being a hunk of garbage. Um, so, again, you can see very simplistic, and that's going to be a theme with most of these builds here. Um, lack of detail, and just overall a lack of... just <laughs> It doesn't, doesn't really look like even I even really tried on this one. Um, it's pretty bad overall. I mean, I've been saying that, and it, it's the truth. Uh, there's just really nothing about it. It's even missing the cannon that's supposed to be on the side here. Again, this side over here should be kind of more um, boxed, as you can see over here to this side. It's missing this little po post that sticks up here, and the back of the tank is completely inaccurate to how it should be. Um, so, just an absolute garbage pile, <laughs> an absolute mess, and uh, again, you can see the new version behind it. And again, see the difference in uh, kind of skill level here. Um, with these builds. Again, I think the Snyder CA-1 is a terrible tank, and even doing the redesign for it, I'm still not happy with it just because it's such a weird and ugly tank, but I definitely think it's a step in the right direction, that's for sure. Uh, but anyways, that's it for our second build. Let's move on to our third. Moving down our line a little bit, we have the STRV FM21-29. Now, this was a vehicle that was used both in World War I and World War II in kind of that interwar type period. This is a vehicle originally from Sweden and is a big, whopping hunk of garbage. I'm um, getting one of those tanks that I really don't care for the design uh, in real life, but, uh, you know, obviously trying to replicate here in Minecraft, but 
just looks absolutely horrendous. Um, it's one of those weird tanks where the turrets in the back here it has a very elongated front, engine in the front, stuff like that. It just looks weird overall to kind of begin with for a tank, but it just is exemplified by the lack of uh, skill I had when building this. Again, under detailed, underwhelming. Um, everything about it just looks really bland, really boring. The tracks definitely um, are really lackluster, and just overall the the whole vehicle itself just really is not um, that interesting to me. Um, I think it did, came out pretty bad and definitely is in need of a redesign. Uh, but that's going to be our third vehicle there, the uh, STRV FM21-29. Continuing on, we have a uh, another, I uh, believe this is a World War One build, um, probably Inner War or something like that. This is the Land uh, Chester 6x4. And this vehicle here, again, is... Uh, a mess. Um, I can't really tell you when I built this. I honestly do not ever remember building this. I think this was probably built in a live stream if I remember correctly and it's just horrible overall. Um, again, you know the common theme, lack of detail, lack of um, real kind of shape to it. Um, I just, there's just so much to hate about this uh, design overall. It's uh, definitely not as bad as I would say like the St. Chamon or the, especially the Snyder, but uh, Definitely is one of those lacking vehicles and um, one of the ones that really kind of stuck out compared to a lot of our other vehicles here in our lineup of, uh, you know, British uh, vehicles in this line. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be our fourth vehicle, the Lanchester 6x4. Right next to the Lanchester, we have the Crusader Mark III. Now, the Crusader Mark III is by no means the worst tank on this list, but it is definitely um, in that top 15 range. Um, this tank really lacks in a lot of aspects. Um, detail, accuracy, um, I really don't like the turret for it. Uh, judging by the tank itself with a duplicate next to it, I'm sure this is a tutorial on the channel, um, but it's really nothing memorable. Um, I do believe I have a new Crusader uh, design. Um, I just don't, uh, I believe I probably built it with the War Thunder check tree I was working on. But overall, it's just a really, again, lackluster vehicle. It just looks really bland, really boring. Um, as I mentioned, you know, shaping and everything on it just really isn't there. And um, I overall just <laughs> dislike the vehicle. Uh, it's the same with all these other ones. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not really uh, that great of a vehicle, memorable or anything like that. It's just really underwhelming um, compared to other vehicles and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the fifth vehicle here, the Crusader Mark III. Now we move on to Germany, and I, I don't get it with Germany. We have some of my coolest vehicle tutorials, at least in my opinion, the Gustav, the Rat, and just several others. We have some of the coolest tutorials and some of the best vehicles in our German World War II, uh, World War I lineup, but we also have some of the worst. Coming in uh, number six spot, we have the Panzer I, and this tank here is absolutely horrible. Um, I don't really remember, again, building this, it was such a long time ago. Um, I do remember when I did record this, the video for it, I was sick, so I, I can only imagine how that um, sounded. Uh, but yeah, it's, again, just terrible. Um, I guess it kind of resembles a Panzer one, but it's just super bad. I mean, what can I really say about it? Uh, I just overall dislike pretty much everything about it. Um, it's, you know, lack of detail, shaping, just everything about it. You can really see the age, and it, it definitely looks like one of those 2016-2017 builds, as I do believe that is around the time frame of when it came out. Uh, there really is no redeeming qualities for this tank, and I think that the best thing to do for this thing is just to <laughs> delete it and completely start over. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, Panzer One, definitely in uh, desperate help or a desperate need for help there. Uh, but yeah, that's the Panzer One. Let's move on to our next vehicle. Our next vehicle uh, also falls in our uh, Germany lineup. And it was so easily forgettable and so bad that it wasn't even labeled. And you can still see there's signs there that say it's not labeled. This right here is the Waffentrager uh, 38D. Now, as far as I know, this was never a real design. I do believe that it is just strictly a World of Tanks model, and that's where I actually remember building this from. We actually had a hell of a time figuring out where it was from. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's a story for a different day. 
Um, the vehicle itself, again, just absolutely horrible. Um, if you look at pictures of it, it just really resembles nothing for it. The back here, the cannon breach and stuff, compared to like some of the newer stuff I'm doing with our, you know, AT guns and stuff like that, and artillery, you know, open top artillery vehicles or tank destroyers and stuff, you'll definitely see the back here and just kind of cringe at the lack of anything going on back here. It's super basic, super straightforward, and just overall a really terrible uh, looking build. There is zero detail. I mean, the, the structure and somewhat of the shape is there. And I would I would say that the mantle here, that the fair turret really isn't too bad. Um, but, or I say the turret, but the, the uh, kind of a shield here, the gun shield, is really not too bad. But everything else just is absolutely terrible. I don't even think the tracks are correctly positioned or anything like that. So it's just an absolute mess and uh, definitely deserving of the uh, seventh spot on our uh, list of 15 terrible vehicles on this world. Continuing down the line a little bit further, we have the GW E100. What's really weird is that these vehicles are kind of like the past two we've covered are all in a line here. So it's just this one section of just absolute terribleness uh, in this German World War uh, II lineup. Uh, but yeah, so right here we have the GW E100, which was a artillery version, I believe, uh, basically from World Tanks, really making up more uh, vehicles, uh, basically based, uh, basically an artillery um vehicle based off of the E100 chassis. This thing is an absolute mess. Um, oh, the banners on the side here just look terrible. Uh, it's the first thing really. Again, the lack of detail here around the gun, just everywhere. Um, lack of detail. I, the main thing being the banners, I think the banners look absolutely terrible inside this tank. And we also have the road wheels here which look absolutely terrible in the stair format. Um, I just absolutely despise the look of using stairs for tracks and sometimes you have to do it but uh, sometimes it works out all right but this just there's no need for it it just looks terrible and that's that's what that looks like right there um, the back here is I don't even know what to say I really don't know why there is uh, the the polished granite here for the floor of it, it doesn't doesn't make any sense uh, the gun breach here terrible the iron trap doors Again, no idea. Uh, I, this was obviously probably built before we had access to end rods and stuff like that, which would work perfect in this situation. But again, the iron bars are just terrible. <laughs> just absolutely terrible in this uh, this section here. And then the iron bars on the side there, I believe for probably ammunition racks or something. It's just a terrible build all over. And it's that's all I can really say. Um, it's absolutely awful. I hate this tank. Um, I hate everything about it, and I do have a new E100 model I am working on, so hopefully we'll see a replacement for this, hopefully sometime soon. Anyways, that's the 8th vehicle there, uh, the GW E100. And we have the Hetzer, coming in our ninth spot. Hetzer here, absolute disappointment. This thing has been an eyesore for so long, and for some reason I have not rebuilt it. Um, Again, you're going to see the age of the vehicle here with the machine gun that's mounted on top there using fence gates. That is something I have not done for years, basically. Um, I will say this is not the worst one just because the shaping on it does look like a Hetzer. I mean, when you look at it, you're going to see a Hetzer, but really in terms of anything, is it really a, is it really a good Hetzer? Um, it's just overall a really bad design. Um, I mean, like all the other previous ones we've looked at. Just lack of detailing, the shaping, the use of blocks so you, to mimic certain por portions and stuff like that. Like this exhaust back here is ridiculously dumb looking. Um, it's just all around is terrible. Uh, there's no viewport for the driver. There's It's just super, super disappointing of a build. And um, again, this, is in, this vehicle has been sitting here for a long time. And I've been wanting to redo it. And you'll notice we have, you know, the redone Panzer 38T, I believe. Yep, Panzer 38T, and then there's also the the uh, Panzer II, and then we have, you know, a bunch of other vehicles that have been redone, and this thing's just kind of been skipped over. Uh, again, it's close to our, you know, previous bad ones here along the German line, but definitely needs some uh, TLC, and uh, I definitely think there's, there's a spot on here, just because it sat here for so long, you can definitely just see its age. Um, anyways, that's it for our ninth spot. Let's move, go ahead and move on to our next one. 
coming in our 10th spot, we have another World War II build, the IS-3. Oh god, uh, this, this thing is a huge disappointment. I couldn't tell you when I built this, um, I think it was in a live stream, but it is just absolutely horrible. Um, I'm not sure if it was a glitch or something, going for different versions or what. There isn't even any stone buns here on the block, or these blocks here. I really have no idea why. Maybe it's a glitch, maybe it's something, who knows. Um, it looks like there was something here. I have no idea. It's just in its current state, it's absolutely awful. And a huge eyesore in our, you know, Soviet lineup, which really isn't too bad overall in terms of vehicles. But this here is just absolutely awful. Again, you'll tell the age here with the gun up on top. It's just a stair, upside down stair, and two fence gates coming off of it. Really bad. Um, and just overall, it's horrible. I think the turret was something I was getting right a little bit. I don't know. I'd have to look at the IS-3 again, but it probably really is off or compared to what I would do now. But it's just a horrible looking build overall. Lack of detail, just lack of everything. I think it's one of the worst lack of detail builds out there the f are on this world. The fact that there's even no stone buns on the road wheels here really kind of upsets me. Um, it, it's just kind of insane that that just wouldn't be done. Um, yeah, it's just horrible. Um, definitely is a huge disgrace for the IS-3, especially with the newer IS-2 uh, that I've done and also uh, the IS-1 that's in this lineup, which I don't think I've recorded. Maybe I have, I don't know, but uh, it's definitely a huge disgrace. And <laughs> that's pretty much uh, it for uh, that. And let's move on to our 11th spot. Coming over to our British uh, Cold War section, you can definitely see the neglect here. Um, you'll notice here that a lot of these uh, vehicles that you've seen are kind of countries I don't do too often on the channel, just mainly uh, because I just don't really do them that, much, that often for some reason. And the British line has a lot of neglect in it. Now, really, there would be probably three vehicles I'd put here, and honorable mentions would really go out to the FV214, uh, which is that right there. And then in the distance there, we have another version of the FV215, uh, or 215. Uh, those are both terrible um, ones, but I really think the icing on the cake here belongs to the uh, FV215B. It's it's terrible. Um, it's one of those tanks that's really outdated. I mean, you can see here it was the first tank in our lineup for our for the UK uh, Cold War. Uh, what I think honestly happened here is this was probably a port I took over from uh, my tutorial back on Xbox and just put it on this world and basically built it from xbox and you can definitely see it's just horrible um it is a little bit more detailed than some of the other builds we've looked at but it's just everything about it i just don't like the fact we're using stone brick tracks here uh the road wheel here usage is just awful um no item frames or anything like that they at least add a little bit more colored or a little bit more shape to that gun here up on top the uh, hatches here being iron trap doors which just look hideous on top here and it's just a bad it's just bad um i really don't understand it the right side here is different from the left side and that we have fence gates over here, or these fence posts here but we don't have them over here on this side i don't know what these fence posts are even supposed to represent <laughs> honestly it's just a really awful build and um it's pretty terrible uh that's going to be pretty much coming in our 10th spot easily um or our 11th i think it's our 10th spot not now I'm getting all confused, but yeah, it's coming in this spot, and then we have this right here, which honorable I mentioned being the FV214. Uh, uh, definitely, definitely an honorable mention there. And as we go down this way, we can also take a look here at our other honorable mention, which is going to be the FV215. Um, scary thing, too, is that there's a sign right here that says it's ready for a tutorial. Again, I don't know how long ago this was, but this thing is not ready for any sort of tutorial. Uh, again, it suffers from the same thing with the tracks here, just that terrible design. And also, uh, for some reason, this one has nether brick. It seems like the only thing I did here to switch it up was to take some nether brick and put it here and all that. And again, just lack of detail here and there. It's not as bad as like the Hetzer, but it's still pretty bad. And... God, just the shaping on this turret here. Just awful. 
Um, but yeah, those are two honorable mentions that go along with the FV215. Again, this is the FV215. Uh, the other version we were really focusing on was the B version. Uh, but anyways, that's it for that. Let's go ahead and move into our next vehicle. Next vehicle we have right next to it is the Humber Pig. This was another live stream build uh, a long time ago and it's just an absolutely horrible looking armored car. Um, it's I think it's got the shape somewhat going for it. It really kind of doesn't though uh, compared to what I could probably do for it now. It's just horrible. Um, I think width wise it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know it's just kind of funky all around. I really don't like it well obviously i don't like it if i'm putting on this list but it just rose me the really the wrong way it just looks absolutely horrible um i think it's definitely a really terrible build and well deserving of a mention on this list and yeah it's just it's just bad what can i say um anyways that's it for uh this vehicle here let's go ahead and move on to our next one And moving on to our next vehicle, where do I even begin with this monstrosity? Um, good news for it is that there actually is a new tutorial out for the ARL44, but for some reason I never deleted this version of it, and it is still sitting in our lineup here for uh, France. It's awful. Um, again, suffers from lack of detail. The track design is just terrible. I mean, you could go for your, you can go take a look for yourself at the new tutorial for the ARL44 and you'll just notice there's a huge night and day difference with it just the proportions everything with the new one is so much better but then you have this one here that just it's just I, what can I say just awful um it really really is a terrible looking tank again lack of detail lack of everything I think the turrets off on it I think <laughs> it's just really really a boring tank and just awful to look at um that's all I can really say about it, uh, and it's uh, great that there is a redesign for it, so there is that going, going for it, and uh, I can delete this after this video and, you know, sleep good tonight knowing that this thing is no longer going to be on the world for you guys to see. But that's, uh, anyways, it for that build. Let's go ahead and continue on. Going on back to Poland here, I want to go ahead and throw in a quick honorable mention, being the PT-91 Thrardy. Um, Poland Modern Warfare slash Cold War really has seen a lot of neglect in terms of the vehicles and just lack of redo re or redesigns for them. Um, the PT-91 is definitely no exception to that. Um, the use of banners here on the sides or on the turret, I just think that this thing just came out really bad. Um, I, there's just a lot of things I don't like about it, you know, the banners here, um, the around the turret here, the wrapping the banners around, just the top of the turret, lack of details, the machine gun, just... It's overall pretty bad. It's not the worst take on here by all means and definitely, uh, you know, is not our tip top 15. But I think that this definitely is worthy of a mention of uh, one of the worst builds here on the world. Um, but yeah, that's the PT-91 Thrardy. Coming in our 14th spot, we have the PL-01. PL01, PL01, jeez, cannot speak, um, just absolutely terrible. Again, another terrible tank. I think the real-life counterpart is a pretty ugly design, if I do say so, uh, but this built replication here in Minecraft is terrible. One of the main things here being the side skirts are way too thick on it, which gives a huge kind of wide vibe to it, which just does not go well with the tank at all. Um, it looks way too thick. The top here is just super lackluster. I think the actual version has a couple, like a two-tone gray color, which I think would have been nice to include on this tank, just to kind of give it a little bit more color instead of just being this kind of gray block. Um, but again, it's overall really disappointing. There's no even no headlights on it, nothing like that. It's just an awful build. And again, that's really coming in the neglect here for our Polish, uh, you know, modern Cold War lineup. So yeah, that's our 14th spot there, the PL-01. I want to go ahead and throw out another honorable mention, being this, uh, or actually our only North Korean build I've ever done on the channel. This, uh, I believe it's the Coxon. It's um, the M, yeah, the M1978 Coxon. Huge artillery gun, which you'd think, you know, this could be a really cool build, especially if I were to go back and rebuild it. But just the execution on this thing is absolutely horrible. 
Um, again, you can tell the age here using the stone brick tracks. I believe this was directly a port from the uh, Xbox uh, era of doing tutorials. So this was probably built back in like 2016. Um, it's horrendous. Uh, the use of logs here, you can see the lack of the blocks that we had when I built this. Um, <laughs> how huge these stabilizers here are on the back and it's just really an ugly looking vehicle um i definitely don't think it's for as bad as some of the other ones there are the other ones that have made this list but i think this is definitely an honorable mention to throw out there and something that i would like to redo since it is our only north korean um vehicle honor in our tutorial world anyways that's it for uh, this let's go ahead and move into our uh number 15 spot um in our lineup of worst vehicles. Coming in our last and final spot, we have this monstrosity of a Type 69. Absolutely horrible. Um, where do I even begin on this thing? Uh, they use the banner steer. Again, horrible. Uh, hate it. I think the tank sits ridiculously low uh, for what it's supposed to be. It just doesn't look right at all um it, it yeah it just it just looks really terrible um the way it's sitting uh, again the h here with the machine gun all this stuff there's no item frames on it nothing like that to kind of add a little bit of you know detail to it um it's really plain straightforward the detail real basic and simple and just all this a pumpkin as a jerry can which uh Again, it's terrible. You can actually see the face here for the pumpkin. Thank God this was never, was never posted as a tutorial, but it's just an absolutely terrible build. And we don't have many Chinese vehicles to begin with, and this just right here just is a huge total eyesore for the poor, uh, you know, very small Chinese line. Uh, but that right there is going to round off our list, and uh, that's it for our 15th vehicle, the Type 69 in our Chinese line. And that, guys, is going to wrap up my list for my top 15 worst ground vehicles in our or in my tutorial world. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and kind of showed you guys some of the absolute tragic builds that are on this world. And it definitely kind of brings light to uh, myself as vehicles that I definitely should kind of prioritize as trying to redesign and get out for you guys as new tutorials or just to put new ones on the world to replace these old ones. Uh, I think it's uh, kind of cool to go back and, again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, kind of see these, see how far I've come in terms of my designs and my thought processes and building and techniques and stuff. And it kind of goes to show you guys that, you know, I basically, I just started building these vehicles, you know, as I build them today. You know, I started off building these terrible looking vehicles and have slowly, you know, added more and more detail and uh, more and more kind of design ideas and stuff like that and really kind of altered them to turn them into what they are today um, But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I am planning on doing an aircraft um, version of this so we take a look at some of the worst aircraft on the uh, Tutorial world as well, and uh, there are some doozies in that one as well But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you think there's any vehicles that should have been on this list that weren't uh, Mentioned at all in the video be sure to let me know down in the comments below uh, there are a few that uh, was definitely thinking of, but uh, have been deleted in this version of the tutorial world, so I wasn't going to put them on there if they were already deleted. Uh, but anyways, that's going to pretty much sum this video up. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been Garrett 204, and I'll see you guys next time.